Welcome to the Object Detection and Machine Learning section of this course. In this section, we will learn about a couple of algorithms such as CrabCut, Kenny, and Hawk Transformation. Next, we'll be finding objects via template matching. Next, we'll use Median Flow Tracker and we'll track the objects using different algorithms. Next, we'll be computing the dense optical flow between two frames. Then, we'll be detecting chessboard and circle grid patterns. Then we'll detect some pedestrians and apply some optical character recognition with machine learning. Lastly, we'll detect faces with hard cascades and develop a fast QR code detector and decoder. In this video, we'll be obtaining an object mask using the GrabCut algorithm. So we'll start by opening an image and then we'll define a mouse callback function to draw a rectangle on the image. Next, we'll be using GrabCut function from OpenCV to create an object mask based on the rectangle. Then we'll define the mouse callback to draw the mask on the image. And lastly, we'll display the results on our screen. So without any further delay, let's dive right in. So first of all, I'll be importing my modules. Okay, so next, I'm going to read the image and store it into this image object. And I'll preserve the original image by copying it into another one. So I'll be using the show image rather than the original image. Next. We'll be defining some constants that we'll be using in the upcoming code. So now let's define a mouse callback function and this callback would be drawing the rectangle on the image. So this code here draws the rectangle on the image. So let's go ahead and run this. Next we'll be using a while loop and once we are done with drawing the rectangle, we'll press the A key to proceed further. So let's go ahead and run this block of code as well. In this module, we'll define labels. In our case, there would be only two labels, the background and foreground. And next, we'll be using this GrabCut function from OpenCV. And we'll pass our image and labels and the coordinates of the rectangle that we created earlier. For having a safe side, we'll create a copy of image. Rather than working on the original image, we'll work on the copy of this image. So in this statement, we'll give the background region a darker shade. Next, we'll display the image on our screen. So let's go ahead and run this block. So let's move towards the image. So we've got our image in front of us. Now we will draw a rectangle on this image. And this should cover the object that we are trying to extract. So here we go. Now the algorithm would be waiting for us to press the A key. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the A key is now pressed. Let's move back to our code. So in this block, we'll define the mouse callback to draw a mask on the image. It's necessary to repair mistakes in the previous grab cut call. So we'll do that by creating this mouse callback function. We'll go ahead and run this. This would allow us to pinpoint the areas that are not segmented accurately. Next, we'll create a window and we'll set a mouse callback on the window we created earlier. We'll loop over the frame. And again, once the pinpointed regions are returned, we'll be using this GrabCut algorithm to give us the final image. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, as you can see, this hat should be a part of the foreground. So let me switch back to a code for a moment. So now we'll be using this mouse callback to pinpoint the foreground areas that are wrongly classified as background. So in this case, we'll just highlight the area that was supposed to be a part of foreground rather than background. So I believe it's done. Let's press the A key. So here we go. As you can see, the image is now almost accurately classified into background and foreground. So yep, that's pretty much it from this video. Let's see what we will cover in the next one.